Architecture shapes everybody's life every day. Wherever you go, whether you're in a city, a town, a village, architecture defines the spaces where we, where we live, where we work, places we spend time with our families. These, these are all defined by the buildings and the places between buildings, which is the, the realm of architecture. There's the basic needs of architecture is to provide shelter from the outside world. People spend a lot of time in buildings. If you're going to be spending a lot of time somewhere, you want to make sure that it's a good place to be. The energy that comes from having friends studying the same course together, they work hard and they can support each other, which is really important. Each studio has space for everything really. There's flat desk space for just drawing and modelling on and then there's drawing boards if you're doing proper drawings and obviously computers which have all various softwares on that you need really. It's also really good at this 24-7 access. It's a very flexible space which is what we kind of need. The quad's beautiful. The architecture building looks out onto that, um, especially during the summer, because it's quite nice to nip out for your lunch and sit in the quad. The crit spaces, the way that they're laid out, means that when other years are presenting their work, it's really easy to go in and look around the work. I think it's quite a great introduction into the life of the school and brings everyone together. The workshop, well, essentially it's for building models, and we have three laser cutters, we have a 3D printer. Yeah, there's a large gallery space as well, and stage three studios, which are kind of the largest in the school. Archiprint is our print room, which was in the building, and it's 24 hour access, and it means we can print off all sorts of large scale drawings. It's quite interesting as a city. You have many layers of different buildings being built on what is already built, and the Quayside has quite a lot of development. I think that's probably one of the things that's most characteristic of Newcastle as a school. They don't spoon feed, they don't have a, a house style. So that means that their output for students at Newcastle is actually quite diverse. Newcastle is quite relaxed in terms of design, so you can anything goes really. It means students have to think on their feet, they have to develop a, an independence of mind really. When you go out into the workplace, no one's telling you how to think, no one's telling you what you should be doing. You, you need to be able to work that stuff out for yourself. And that's kind of what architecture is about, making sure that clients' dreams come true. They can actually achieve that through the architect and through the other people in the design process. It doesn't feel like at any point it's been a really big step. It's kind of been a continued progression all the way through. University seems to be the grounds where you try to discover what you are, but I think Newcastle is very good at giving you the opportunity to explore whatever, whatever you want. Newcastle is very good at that, at being very open to different styles and different eras and just helping you through realising this kind of rich education that, that is architecture. You're eating, sleeping and breathing architecture constantly. The more you learn, the more passionate you become. It does inspire you in a way that pushes you forward, in a sense. If people like the work that you produce and you make a building that is successful in terms of how it's used and for its users, then that's, that's the dream.